Good afternoon and welcome to Grove News. And what did you do today? Uh, today I was the camera operator and I um, operated camera three and Claire did camera one, which are both headshots of the different presenters so we got different angles for the news report. So what skills did you use? Um, well, we had to communicate a lot with the gallery, so we had headphones on, so when we needed to like zoom in and stuff, we kept in contact the whole time. Um, I'm looking to be a camera woman myself, so it's really been a good experience today to see how it works and what I've got to do. Today's headlines are Gang shootings in West London are on the rise. Increasing debt levels for young people. Size zero models, is it right or wrong? Will the arrival of the Olympics change the nation's eating habits? And now for today's first story. There have been sightings of strange glowing lights in the West London area. We have sent our crew to find out more. So did you see the alien spaceship? She was sort of just dawdling behind us. And we probably shouldn't talk about it because they might come back and get us. Okay then. What about if you saw an alien? Well, if I'm never looked too greasy, too slimy or too yucky, I'll chat to it. Okay, so you don't really seem very scared about these UFO appearings. Why you seem you very, be? very calm. A lot of the people we've talked to have been very anxious and... Yeah, because they watch, they, you see, they, they watch too much TV and check out what I go on with, with what the media says, like you should be scared of. But as, what's his name? David Barry says, let the children meet him. Today has been very tiring for me and Daniel. Um, I think my staff have been exceptionally excellent and they've helped me a lot. And well, we're just waiting for the show to start. Well, right. we've been working backstage today, bit of editing, bit of filming outside and everything. What do you think, Rich, though? It's uh, pretty good, yeah. It's been good, isn't it? Yeah. What do you do, though? Bit of this, bit of that. <laughs> what's a bit of this, what's a bit of that? Did a bit of location shot. Because, yeah. well, we're both applying for the same course in Raven's Bowl. So, so we're pretty hoping pretty that today, <laughs> when we go for the interview, the DVD will be the same thing. Who thinks I'm really going into the future? I'm going far. I don't know about it. From your experience of filming Fashion Weekly, do their models um, look healthier or unhealthier in the real life? Well, that's a difficult question because um, as an ex-designer, okay, we, we, we look at more petite women in regards to hanging our clothes up because it does suit us better. But there is a big health um, issue here in regards to how thin they are. Um, as a young person, it's obvious that the media has a big sway in the um, weight debate. As you can see from some of these headlines, My Zero, Size Zero, Fight Back, Eight Easy Ways to Lose Eight Pounds. Um, it's obvious that the media is the head of this weight obsession. Um, this is Charlotte Rickard reporting from Grove News. Back to the studio. How have you enjoyed your day? Yeah, yeah it's been fun. <laughs> Kay did help us with um, our um, report, didn't she, earlier, the congestion charge. We found her very helpful. You were very helpful, Kay. Did you enjoy doing that? Yeah, it was OK. It's a bit hard. It was. It looked, it looked really difficult. We have a reporter on the scene finding out your views on this topic. The hot topic today is the congestion charge, which will be taking place in Labyrinth Grove, as we can see here. We're hopefully going to find some people in the local area and ask them what they think of the topic. As you can see, local business expresses are worried about losing more trade because of the congestion extension. Disgusting. I mean, as you can see, there's no congestion out there at all. I mean, look, five, six cars passing every minute. 85% of people were against it, so I don't know why it's gone through. Lovely, that's it. That's it. Well done. Well done, Gary.